trying to get in here and check yeah, this good, out. Oh my god, yo, this must have been the casket that they found the body in. Tonight, medical examiners are working to identify two corpses they found rotting inside this old funeral home. Investigators say the former director was paid to cremate the bodies, but didn't. The medical examiner left about an hour ago. Investigators said they will not be able to identify the bodies right now because they are so badly decomposed. But the big question we're asking tonight is how these bodies weren't noticed sooner. Officials shut down the funeral home about two years ago. As investigators wearing protective clothing searched the former McLendon funeral home just hours after the woman who used to run it showed police where she had been hiding a body. Investigators said it was in a casket wrapped in cloths. What they saw across the room shocked them even more. The other body was on, on the table. Another body out in the open. Vesquier said she failed to take a body to a crematorium after accepting money for funeral costs. Then the judge ordered she show police where she put the body. Yo, all right, what's up, Explorer? So, I got another treat for you guys today. Today we are in my first ever abandoned funeral home. Never been inside one before, but this is a very unique type of Explorer just because of the place it is and the history. The story of this place is absolutely insane. So the reason why the story about this place is so crazy is because back in 2012, this place was closed down and then abandoned. The reason why it was closed down is because the woman who owned this place, she was supposed to do a cremation service on one body but she never did it, but she did take the money. So they closed the place down and she went to jail for about six to 17 months is what I remember reading online. After the place was closed down in 2012, an inspector hadn't actually come to the place to make sure that everything was good, that there was nothing wrong, there was nothing left behind. And it turns out that when he did finally come to check the place out, he ended up finding not one, but two dead bodies that were just left here. And they had been badly decomposed for years. So he found those dead bodies and then instantly the entire town was up in arms. People were freaking out. They were really upset that this was happening. I mean, of course they were. What would, what would you do if you paid for your loved one to be cremated, buried, whatever, and that never happened? The lady just takes your money and that's it. So she did end up serving time in jail, thank God. And this place, after the whole police department came in, you know, with their, with their respirator masks and everything, they took out all the bodies and they are still trying to identify the three bodies. That's how badly decomposed they were when they found them. So we are gonna go and we're gonna explore this entire little funeral home. We're gonna see if we can find out where the bodies actually were. We're gonna check out the embalming tables and the equipment and it's gonna be sick. So let's go and check it out. This is where the funeral would be held right here? Yeah, like the memorial service. Okay. You know what I mean? Like the open, it could have been, it could have been an open casket. They could have had it set up right here. So we're that answers that. But yeah, guys, I mean, look at this. This is literally, this is the way in. You know, it's not hard for us to really get in here. It's not hard for anybody to get in here. Windows are completely smashed. The floor is caving in over here. I mean, guys, there's even somebody's thing right here, their tombstone just left here. It's like this person who ran this place just didn't even care. And this is all a bunch of photos of, of the dead people that they supposedly were supposed to be taking care of. That's horrible. Like, it's all just here. Rob is just fearless standing here right now. Yeah, I'm, kinda, I'm in a good spot right here. I'm not going really any further that way. <laughs> Definitely a smart decision. Yeah. So, like Josh said, this is the memorial room where they would hold the funerals and stuff. Crazy. One really unique thing that I just noticed about these windows, they're in the shape of crucifixes. That's actually super cool. Really, really good attention to detail on those people's part, but they still suck because of what they did to the families that used their service. All of this stuff here, it's just stuff that was left behind, I mean. There's little memorial papers right here for someone's funeral, still here. And it's just crazy that all this stuff is like gonna be here. There's embalming tables, there's embalming equipment all in the back room over there. We're gonna go and we're gonna see it, but really quick. This right here, I gotta look at this. This looks like tires. Max was trying to say that this might be the tires for the hearse. He has a theory that the hearse is somewhere in the woods. We're not really sure, but these do have Cadillac hubcaps, so I mean, it is a possibility that these are the tires for the hearse. 
We do not know for sure, so I won't make that claim. People might have even been squatting in here, but you never know. Dude, there's cobwebs literally everywhere. I know it's hard to see on the camera, but they're they're everywhere. Oh, Look at this, actually. <laughs> the fan looks sad. <laughs> yeah, seriously. It, Look at it. It's, 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 it's just the upset. The itself is just slanging down from just how humid and hot and it's crazy. rainy. So we got a big Bible right here, obviously to be read at the, uh, at the funeral. Do not know what this is. I have actually no idea. Is this ashes? Oh my god. Yo, I don't know if Josh was paying attention to this, but this is actually someone's ashes. I'm gonna blur out the name and the info, but look, it says right here, date of cremation. And right here in the bag is, is that person's ashes. Absolutely insane. I cannot believe I'm seeing this right now. What? They just left I'm telling you, bro. Well, that's what I was saying just before the camera was that it's probably shown that they were neglecting people for a very, very long time before they had even gotten closed down in 2012. Yes. Because this is from 1995. Now, there is a possibility that somebody's family did not come and pick Lord, them right up. There. You know, that does <laughs> happen yeah. at certain oh points in time. But there, there's more. Well, that's another person. More ish. Yeah, dude, this is, oh, this is from, no. um, date of death is 99. Wow. 1913 is when they were born. Yo, wow. this is one thing I've actually never seen. Look, this is a certificate of cremation right yeah, here. Yeah, this is their, their... If you put people's names on here, I mean, they can come pick the shit up, so I might just leave the names in. At least of the ashes. What's, yeah, well, that's not bad. Just don't yeah. do anything to the people's ashes. What's crazy, though, is, like, it's just a bag with a name, but in the end, that's kind of like... Uh, it's a person. I don't know, I never... It's it, it is weird. It is literally yeah. a person. We're all just yeah. a vessel anyhow. I, yeah, That you're really right. doesn't matter. It's all about your soul and your personality. But yeah. to somebody, it might mean something. So yeah. just in terms of not being disrespectful, we just don't touch them. A hundred percent. So I just want to let you guys know that we try to be as respectful as possible when exploring these places. We never expected to find anybody's ashes or anything like that. It's a very personal matter. These are things that we don't want to mess with. We're obviously here to just take pictures, make videos, and just bounce and document it. That's it. Moving out into the back here. There's a bunch of random stuff laying around. Look at how, look at how the walls are like warped. They're curving. This place is definitely, even though it's only been abandoned for seven years, this place has seen so much damage. Probably from water, all kinds of different stuff. So moving in, trying to get in here and check this out. Guys, I know that we don't try to film in the same room as everybody right now, but like, I just really want to see this. This Yo, is guys. insane. All right, look at this. I mean, we'll blur everything, but look at that. Just look. Like, those are photos of dead bodies, yeah. dude. That's, like, actual that's dead bodies. What? Dude, it's just crazy that, like, literally, these people in this photo, their head was, like, resting right here, and their body was right here. Like, you can see the, the blood stains and the decomposition stains. It's absolutely insane. So guys, there's one embalming tool right here. And then, if you actually look behind this thing, there are even more tools just chilling right here in a tray. Think about how many bodies those tools have cut open and embalmed. And it's just crazy to think that we're, we're here in this situation right now. Formaldehyde pumper right there, like, this is just blowing my mind. For me, this is the first time I'm seeing anything like this. It's absolutely insane. Behind us too. Didn't even realize that there's stretchers right here. This is what they would bring the bodies in on, roll it through the door, and then this would be where they embalm you right here. Absolutely insane. Max just found these things here. Dude, these look like super decomposed bodies. You think those are bodies? I, that's what it looks like, dude. Like, doesn't that look like a face right there? A little bit, yeah. They look really like badly decomposed. How's in here? This stuff's crazy, dude. Hey, did you say this was a hydraulic press, Max? Yeah, this is hydraulic. I'm pretty sure that's what they use to move the coffins around. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Those yeah. coffins are definitely heavy as hell. Okay. Oh my god. Yo, this must have been the casket that they found the body in. Yeah. There was one on the table too. One on the table and one in the casket, bro. Dude, you can see, you can see stains and everything. This is absolutely insane. 
oh my god, Josh, like, we... <laughs> I mean, you've seen stuff like this before, but me? Guys, I've never seen anything like this. Like, I mean, it's crazy. <laughs> well, the thing is, it's like, because we know the history and that the fact that the body was never actually buried, nothing happened, how they just left it here, it makes it more eerie because we know what happened. We know right. that the body has been sitting here for so long, they just picked it out. This is where the woman who owned the place claimed that the one body that was due for cremation was. Look at this, this is even like, just clothes. These must have been like, uh, some kind of preparation clothes, like maybe when they went out for the funeral, this is what they wore. I don't know. This is probably just an office room. Uh, this is where the floor is really caving in, so we just got to be as careful as we can. Freaking door ripped off the wall and everything, guys. This is insane. Photos of people everywhere. There's even a creepy looking Annabelle doll right here. Like, what? Oh my god. Another sad fan. <laughs> and over there, the clock, the last time, was 6.42. We're about to head back outside, but i um, walking back through this room so I can leave. Um, to me, it's just really crazy that, you know, these people, there was a body. Oh, I just put my hand in so many cobwebs. Oh, oh, oh my god, it's everywhere. All right, take two. Um, I was just walking through there looking at the casket and I mean now I got the ashes right here in front of me. It's just, it's crazy to me that these people, these are actually people right here, these two boxes. It's just crazy that another human being was so careless that she just left people's loved ones here for decades and basically there's no remorse, no solace here. It's just, you know, Oh, got my money. Now I'm, I'm okay. I'm just not gonna cremate your your loved one. Absolutely wrong. She should have done more time in jail than what she actually did. Um, I don't think 17 months is enough. But yeah, it's just it's very very messed up. And my heart goes out to those people. My condolences go to those people. Max pointed this out to me. This is the Polaroid camera that has been taking all of the photos, or did take all of the photos that we've seen of all the dead bodies. That's how you know it's legit. That's just so crazy. Explorers. So this is where I'm gonna end the video. I'm gonna sign out right here. Honestly, this place really took me by surprise. I enjoyed the Explore, but I also didn't enjoy it because of the nature of the Explore. It was insanely morbid and sad. The only reason that I enjoyed it is because I enjoy documenting these types of places and making sure that the memory of these places lives. And that is why I was very like happy to see this place and to see what was inside because it allows people, A, the people who were affected by this place, or B, the people that didn't know anything about it in the first place. It raises awareness and it allows um, things for changes. I also read online that the city that this funeral home is located in is trying to change their funeral policies and things like that. So that's very good to see, uh, it's very good to hear. I'm very happy that uh, the woman who owned this place was held accountable for her actions because that's just not okay. I can't imagine if that was like my family and it's just very sad, but so many new experiences for me. Um, the first funeral home that I've ever been to, I've never seen someone's ashes like that before. I have never seen photos of dead people like, like you know, I mean, I've seen it on the internet, but never in person. Uh, this is definitely one for the books, one that I'm gonna remember for a really, really long time. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching if you've actually made it this far. I know this wasn't a crazy long video, but it was a video that had to be made. I really wanted to come to this place and check it out. So again, thank you for watching. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed. Smash that subscribe button because I want you to join this family. Hit the bell button so that you can be notified when I upload more videos and you'll see them right away. But yeah.
be yourself and go explore the world. Thanks for watching.